Hello students. So for this number four, uh, we see that line AB is parallel to CD. So this guy parallel to CD and parallel to EF. And we can see the transversal AE and BF over there. And now this CD is intersecting the transversal at C and D. So we have a theorem related to that in your textbook. You could see that however the theorem that we have learned in the classroom is this if three or more parallel lines are intersected by the transversal the parallel lines divide the transversal proportionally right so they are talking about uh, this AC and CE and this BD and DF in proportion right uh, so, if we move on to the problem, what do you see? Here, we can write this two ways, AC over C, AC over CE equals, they're in proportion, so these ratios, BD over DF. Somebody might choose to write this guy first, I mean, as a numerator, and AC. For them, the other set should follow DF, or D F over D F over this B D. So now see what's given. If you look at our A E is four X plus five. This is the whole thing. We don't need that. A C is two X minus two. This A C is two X minus two. Now we need C. We can find C. How from this A C. If we subtract uh, AE, if we subtract this AC, uh, we are going to get our this CE, right? So what is our AE? AE is 4X plus 5. Subtract this AC, which is 2X minus 2. What it gives? Take away 2X. So this is 2X. And then positive 5, negative, negative makes it positive 2. So it's 7, right? So you can plug in these values here. For AC, what do you have? 2x minus 2, right? So if we plug in here, 2x minus 2. And C, we just got it. 2x plus 7. So we say this is 2x plus 7. Now our... A ratio of BD and DF. You see here a ratio is given 3BD equals 2DF. Now if my setup is this then I go for uh, the BD over DF so I brought this down cross multiply DF so what happens this 2 remains here it goes here right so you get a 3. So your equation is formed up so instead of that you can write 2 over 3 2 over 3 right or if somebody thinks this way c e s e so how you place it you place your c e as what we have as c or c is 2x plus 7 2x plus 7 you are just flipping the thing and a c a c is your uh, 2x minus 2 so 2x minus 2 and df bd becomes the flip right the flip or you can conclude from there also df over bd is 3 over 2 right so you can write here 3 over 2 now a simple calculation either way you calculate you should be I am erasing all of them so that it looks nice. So now you do this 6x minus 6 and 4x positive 14, right? So you want to get rid of this so 4x gone, 4x gone. You want to get rid of this positive. So addition property of equality, you have 2x and this is gone, this is gone you have 20 so divided by 2 so your x is 10 right 
So what do you need? You need AC. What was your AC? Your AC was 2x minus 2. So 2, 10, minus 2, that is 20, and minus 2, 18. That's your AC. And now you need your mm, uh, CE. So our CE was 2x plus 7. So we can say, let me erase them, uh, 2x plus 7. See, so for x is 20, so our C is going to be 2 times of 20 plus 7. How much it gives? Uh, oh, that's 10. I'm sorry about it. It's 10, right? So you get a 27. That's it. So that's for number 4. Let's now come to number five you can rewind it forward and watch it again and again for your better understanding that's the objective of making this video so e and f are the midpoints of a b and c d this whole a b this is the e and c d is f right so this is the median of this trapezoid this right i didn't draw it perfectly so what you can do you can do that x this is equals this two pages plus y over two. So what do you get? Two x equals eight plus y, right? You get one equation. And now uh, I would prefer to, let's see what happens later. And then if you look at it, it says g and h. So who is g? g is here, h is here. That the midpoints of AE, AE, right? So you can think about another trapezoid, right? And FD, right? So where this is the median, right? So what we can do? Median theorem, base 1 is x, base 2 is y. So x plus y over 2, this median is 26, right? So you have an equation here. So cross multiply x plus y equals 52 to 26 is at 52 now you have two variables you have two equations let's plug in why i'll prefer not to go with x because that will give me fraction so i shift this one here 2x minus 8 is y and now instead of y i can plug in here right so let me write below so x plus instead of y this value 2x minus 8 is 52 now you see there is a 3x this is this 60 so divide by 3 divide by 3 or x is 20 right so you get your x as 20 right your x is 20 and now <coughs> since uh, uh this is we need y right and we have a value for y here right this guy so let's plug in the value of x as 20 we got so 2 times this is 20 minus 8 that gives you y so it's 40 minus 8 is y so 32 is your y right good so this guy is 32 good i think you should be good with that and next uh, the last one number six that's far easy that's all that parallel lines are divided by this transversals so this part 21 over this part right so x plus 5 and then uh, this part is 15 and that's over this x plus 3 right so now it's simple butterfly cross multiply so 21 times x is 21x plus 3 times 21 gives me 63 15x gives me 15x and 15 times 5 is or we could just simplify that okay uh but this one uh by 7 3 and then uh, this could be for uh, a 3 is 7 and this one is uh 3 5 right so then we could multiply 7 and 5 that's just simplifying that one that's a better way however since i've started with that for so five fives of 75 right so you don't need that you get rid of this subtraction property of equality and you can subtract the 63 subtraction property of equality 
so we are left with the 6x this is cancels out this is gone and we are left with 2 and 1 so what's your x that's uh -uh. 6 divided by 12 gives me 2 right so what they have asked for they asked for our x right so our x is 2 that's it i hope this video helps you out uh just watch them and do it thank you very much